Some Ukrainian village residents are starting off the new year homeless because of a fire neighbors tell us was started on purpose. CBS 2's Megan Hickey joins us live near the scene at Hoyne in Augusta with more on the investigation. Megan. Erica, tenants say this fire was set over an eviction, and this morning fire crews told us they were looking for a suspicious person who was here around the time that that fire broke out. Instead of ringing in the new year with cheers, this morning residents heard crackling of the fire. Fire crews were called to the scene in the 900 block of North Hoyne around 3 this morning for a fire that eventually took over the entire building. I saw the flames from half a block away as I was walking up. Even neighbors down the street were asked to evacuate. They stood huddled outside watching smoke billow out of the three-floor walk-up. Fortunately, the tenants made it out safely, dodging some serious flames. They were massive. I mean, the entire, that entire porch was completely engulfed in flames. In the daylight, one tenant's father came to pick him up and saw this. Try calling my son, no answer, so having a heart attack at the same time. Vince Randazzo soon found his son, who's been displaced like the rest of the tenants in the building. And they tell me the story is even worse than it seems. They say the fire was set by a tenant on the first floor who had recently been evicted. And they spotted the man throwing items at the building as he fled the scene. We got a fire on the first floor. This morning, fire crews told CBS2 they were looking for a suspicious person who'd been outside the building just before the fire started. So it's not a good thing. Rondazzo says he's horrified that all of this could have been done on purpose. Hard to imagine that somebody would do that, you know, and have no uh, concern about the other people that live in the building. Janine, the Chicago Fire Department could only tell me that the Office of Fire Investigation is on the case, and right now they do not have an official cause of the fire. Live in Ukrainian Village, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News. Erica, back to you. Thank you, Megan.